Welcome back to Bits of an Artist's Life. This is Sandy Hester, and this week we are doing a sketchbook toa of not one, but three sketchbooks. <laughs> yes, I know, you can thank me. Go grab a cup of tea or coffee, and we are going to look through these bad boys. Here's what's interesting about some of my sketchbooks. Some of them span across time in a big way. In fact, most of mine do. I don't know why that is. I think I get bored working in some sketchbooks and then I'll set them aside. I'll also go through waves and seasons where I'm working in my sketchbook a lot and then I put it aside and I'm working on finished canvas stuff. That's kind of the flow of my creative practice. But these three sketchbooks are a little different than the last couple sketchbook tours that I've shown you. These three are more working, get down and dirty, just need to get something on paper kind of sketchbooks. In fact, one of them is a purse sketchbook. So it's like doctor's office sitting in the car, you know, spending time just making marks and, you know, filling up time, trying to pass time with something nice instead of waiting for whatever I'm waiting for. The other two are just kind of get it done. I just want to sketch not taking it too serious, not a real finished work, even though there are some finished works in here, but what you get with these sketchbooks, looking at them is just this span of time and growth. In fact, we're gonna take some figure work and look at stuff from 2019 and then see what I did this weekend and the progression. I think one of the things that should be so encouraging about this is to see growth and it will be the same for you if you will just get in there and not worry about things and make marks. Also think it's important to be able to look back and see your growth and also to look back at things that I remember doing and feeling very frustrated with and not liking. And now I'm like, that's, I actually really like that. And I'm glad that it's there. I'm glad it's there to encourage me and remind me that that's how this whole sketchbook thing works. It's discouragement sometimes, it's not good work sometimes, but it is how all of us as artists work. We all create bad work. All the good work stands on the bad work and I've said that so many times. Okay, let's jump into these. If you are enjoying this channel and have not subscribed, will you subscribe? It helps me out a lot. It also tells YouTube, we like this woman. And two, if you have subscribed and enjoy this video, or always enjoy my videos, just go on and give it a thumbs up. That will help me out a lot too. Oh boy, Grady's texting me, sorry. Let's jump into it. I hope today is super, super, super encouraging for you guys, and I hope it makes you want to jump into a sketchbook immediately. These are the three sketchbooks we're gonna take a look at. These two right here are both Stillman and Byrne, the Epsilon series. It's smooth paper, white paper, thick paper, and I love it. And they're not cheap, um, but I did use both of these as more play, not kind of more my serious sketchbooks. And then this one is a Fabriano. Here's the information back there. And this was a purse sketchbook. So one I just had in my purse. Yeah. So we will look at this larger one first. I started the sketchbook back in 2019 and finished it March 2022. So there's a lot of ground covered in this. This sketchbook is when I finally started getting back into more of a daily, a consistent routine with my sketchbooks. This page is my if found page with my information underneath. I always put that in sketchbooks in the first page. I bought no, I didn't buy. Grady bought me several of these sketchbooks for Christmas this year, 2019, and I decided I would use each one for a different medium. Not long after that though, that went out the door. It was a nice thought, but you'll see these first chunk, maybe like first 
fourth or maybe even half of the book is line work just with pen. And I can't remember what the others were, but this was just pen. And here I started it off with what I was going to be using was just a pen. I love sketching just simple objects like this. And this is a season that I found that I wasn't really sure what I wanted to draw or sketch. And so I was doing a lot of things of like sketching my day, which was really fun and nice and kind of a visual diary. I was also finding just reference pictures and practicing my drawing skills. In the sketchbook, you're going to really see how my style changes, but also how I continue to go back to subjects, the same subjects over and over. If you looked at my very, very first sketchbooks, you would see birds and interiors and landscapes and figures. I found that sketching my day allowed me to draw things and challenged me to draw things that maybe I normally wouldn't. Also thought of this sketchbook as just a safe place. I wasn't sharing these things. And so it was just a place to practice. Here I am practicing figures. Just this was a season where I was trying to figure out how I wanted to say things and draw things. I mean, I think we're always in that season. This one's jam packed. I was also playing around with do I want to leave white space? Do I want to completely fill a, a page up? Here I started adding some color and seeing if I liked that. I think I was getting bored with the black and white, which doesn't surprise me. I do like this spread, and I was using the same colors on both page. If you've been here for a while, you remember this deodorant story series. I have a YouTube video about it. If I can find it, I'll link it here, uh, but it's kind of funny. I can't even remember the smell, uh, the smell. I just wrote, read, read the word smell. I don't even remember the story, story now, but oh yeah, I forgot about this page. I really liked this page. I liked the colors and the simplicity of it. I guess I was really getting into sketching my day. I think I just, was in a season not knowing at all what I wanted to draw and I was seeing what I could draw. But it would be fun to go back and read some of this for myself, I think. Now we're getting into 2020. Again, just playing with, can I fill up a page? What does that look like? Going back to adding some color. I'm glad I did that because I do like the color. So this was things in our camping trip. That was fun. That's fun to look back on. I think I also pulled out things or drew things that were in the camper. Oh, that's a pretty page. I do like negative space like this. I like that turned out good. Oh, this was an art challenge with a group of young ladies. And so each week I'd give them something to draw and then we'd get back on Zoom and just share what we drew. Some self portraits here. And then here I was designing a t-shirt that I ended up painting and I did a video on this too. If I can find it, I'll link it. And this was another challenge and it was the don't pick up your pen, but do draw some figures. Drawing things from the house. I don't know what that is. Oh, and then I did a cat, a cat comic. Oh yeah, this was funny. I mean, I was just playing with all kinds of things. Then I started Emma Carlisle's Patreon. And so some of these are going to be challenges from the Patreon session. I like that out. This was, I think we changed material every minute. I did some Lima drawings. Okay, you can tell now I've totally abandoned the whole let's use a pen in the sketchbook. This was back in my, anybody remember Hank? <laughs> uh, painting days. This was on a camping trip. I was making Grady uh, sit for me and draw, and then I was drawing myself. Um, some cats. I think here I was working on thoughts for a large painting. I'm also starting to experiment with different materials here, and that's one of the reasons I'm using those in this sketchbook is because I'm learning and seeing what they'll do. These were marker pens that I got, and then it looks like I used something else on top, but I think I was really struggling with this. Oh, these, this is also from that weird wonky painting season I was in, where I think it was called Under the Table series, and so I was just sketching from that. This is from an Emma Carlisle challenge, and I used one of those pencils that at the tip, it has red, yellow, and blue, and green. Another one from that challenge. This is a video I did where I used just three color pencil to a red, yellow, and blue. Again, if I can find that video, I'll put it here. 
and I showed how you could get a lot of variety with just three color pencils. Just sketches, playing with materials. Oh, this is from Emma Carlisle's um, Patreon. Some more birds. I think this was another one of her challenges. It was like a mirror object or something. Maybe you draw one and then you draw it the other way. I can't remember. But I do think those birds turned out really fun. Very loose. I like those guys. They look like they're having like a heated conversation though. More birds playing with mixed media again and just trying to learn how I like to layer things. It's just a place for me to play. Sketchbooks are. I'm happy with those looking back. Yeah, that may be it. Is that it? And here's a page I was just testing supplies. And then the last page, the first page and the last page usually in a sketchbook, I'll use to test or color swatch materials. So that is that one. All right, let's move on to this smaller Stillman and Burn. like a five by seven size and this is another one that spans the years I started this one in 2020 and my guess is finished in I didn't put a date on that one 2022 yeah I love this first page it may be my favorite page of the whole sketchbook I love the way I was using materials and I love that there's kind of just color swatches and then playing. And then I use the same colors on my If Found page. I can tell with this one I decided to use color, which is nice. I'm not sure why I ever thought that I would like just a black and white page. Well, I don't know. Maybe I was trying that again here. We'll see. Uh, that was my grocery haul. Then I wanted to do it again, try it with watercolors. And here I'm playing around with how I want to do figures. I posted some figures this week that I painted, but you can tell a real big difference, except for the fact that I've always wanted to do figures very loose. I am sitting here editing this week's video and wanted to mention, make sure to stay to the end because I'm going to take sketches that I did this weekend that I just mentioned and show you a comparison. We're going to just really compare where I was in 2019 with figures and where I am literally what I did this last week with figure work. Figure work, to say that correctly. Anyways, stay tuned, stay to the end. Okay, whoa, let's not sing. I better go. Let's get back to editing. And I'm also trying to combine different materials here until I've got watercolor and colored pencils and gouache. I was on a roll with these, but they are fun to look at and flip through. Here I am working on another t-shirt design. I did a horse t-shirt and I think I filmed that too, so I'll try to find that, that video. Oh wow, getting very scary and wonky, but sometimes you have to play like that. Looks like I was doing a lot of figures in this one, which feels very inspiring. Again, testing out materials. See, I think a page like this looks so pretty to test the materials or swatch the materials, then test. Just makes for a really nice page, if you ask me. More figures, sketching our camper, the inside of it. I bet you I designated this maybe as my figure sketchbook. And I can tell here I got some markers out, I'm playing around with those. This looks like oil pastels. And I did this sketch from another painting that I painted. Oil pastels. I was waiting for a Zoom call, and so sometimes I would use my Zoom screen to uh, sketch myself, and then I guess my friend Jennifer came and I had to stop. All right, here we are with the Emma Carlisle um, challenge again, her Patreon. We were doing Animals of the World. I forgot I did this one with her. That was fun. Ooh, 
I know I probably didn't like this page at first. I feel like monkeys are really hard, but I like those colors. He, wow, he's got some teeth. Um, but I do like that blue and pink and yellow together. Oh, wow, that guy's interesting. Markers, I do struggle still with markers, but I could tell I was trying to use those for this challenge. Ooh, I like the layout of that page. I do remember struggling with those. The composition on that page is nice. This is why you don't throw things away. This is why you don't tear things out of your sketchbook because you never know when you come back what uh, you will actually like. Like, I love this. I'm quite sure I gave up on this. I can tell, probably gave up on it. Oh, there's Cooper. But also what it does is it records and documents your progress. And I think that's invaluable. It's very encouraging. Wow, that's a big cloud I was trying to do. Looks like some messy flowers. And these are oil pastels from a place where I pulled off on the side of the road to do some sketching. And then I came home and tried to record in pretty strong colors what I remembered seeing. I took color notes. And then this one is of our property. And you may remember I did a whole series of paintings from these sketches that I that turned out really good. In fact, I just sold another one of those really recently. This is from the view at the top of our mountain. Sketching some boats. At this point, usually in a sketchbook, I'm like over it. I'm ready to be done. So I probably don't treat the pages with much respect. I think here I was trying to do markers again. And I don't know, there's part of me that likes this and part of me that doesn't, but it does make me want to stay on the page and look at it a little bit. All right, here is a bird I was trying to do, again with markers. I think I was just dead set on trying to figure out markers. I still feel like I struggle with them. This is a color pencil or maybe watercolor. I can't tell what, oh, ink tints maybe. I can't tell what this is actually. Some color swatches, which tell me tells me we're coming to the end. More color swatches and more color swatches and doodles. All right, another one down. Let's do the purse sketchbook. Okay, as I said, this is my purse sketchbook. So I keep a really thin sketchbook in my purse at all times for just quick, quick, quick sketches. I usually keep a Posco marker in my purse. I think I like the color is khaki. And then I'll also just use whatever. So these are like doctor's office in the car, just quick, messy and quick and not meant to be anything special. I think I did start this though in that same season of, yeah, 2020, May 2020 of these faces. So I think at first it wasn't my car sketchbook. I really do like these. I've always liked the way these turned out. I used watercolor on those. I set up a little still life at our campground Again, painting faces. We're back at the marker stage, me trying to figure out those markers. Wow, that lady's hair. She's got some hair and some eyebrows and even some lips, but they got some nice texture in that hair. Ooh, I forgot to give that guy some eyeballs. Wow, that is like full on demonic scariness there. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm, interesting. I did several drawings of a table like this with stuff on it. Here we are, markers again. And if you've been here for a while, you know I love to draw and paint glue bottles. They're just really fun. I'm using that water-soluble graphite on these. Oh, and this is part of a challenge I did with a small art group. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I think we picked two words, clouds and strawberries, and we had to incorporate those. And here's me trying to figure out how I want to do it. I came up with all kinds of things. Oh yeah, look, this is funny. Even Grady having a strawberry beard. I hope that's showing up. More figures. So at this point, I can tell this is not a car sketchbook. I think at some point I moved it to that, but this was more of my like thinking about how I wanted to do the challenge. Uh, those are Procreate notes. I guess I was learning Procreate. 
and here we go with car sketching. This is what my car sketches look like. Usually very unfinished, messy. This is for an art challenge again. Charcoal. These are meant to just get things down very quickly. Okay, oh, these are the sketches right here that go with, so I was in the car, had my charcoal, did these, and then came home and used my oil pastels to really quickly capture color. I think in another sketchbook I have where I've written notes about the colors there. Oh no, here it is right here. Yeah, dark orange, orange, bright green, blue. I find I really enjoy painting in that way. This is just from our kitchen window looking out of, over our property. Here we go back to car sketching. I'm in the car waiting for Grady to grab our burgers. So this is in 2021. So we're still dealing with some quarantine and Grady would go in and buy the groceries to keep me safe. And so I would just sketch things in the parking lot. Here we go, waiting in the car again. I love these quick sketches. I love doing them. I love the messiness. In fact, I like the sketches from my car sketching more than the first part of the sketchbook. Here we are in 2022. So there's not a lot in these of 2021 because I wasn't getting out much. So I guess I didn't really need a car sketchbook. Again, waiting. We do burger nights on Sunday night. So I was waiting for Grady again. There was this really cool uh, old house across the street. So I was like frantic trying to get everything in. And then these are little sketches, thumbnail sketches I did at a local lake and then that's it okay we are done i hope you enjoyed that and i hope it was fun to see a little bit of kind of just the progression from you know early sketching like this to i was gonna say more finished things i don't know that these kinds of things are finished but you can see me progressing and trying and figuring things out can we see that in this one? So we start off with things like this, much more tight. And then where did we end? Oh yeah, okay, this is good. So there's some loose birds. And then we have my tighter birds. It's just nice to see progression like that. Let's take a little bit of a look at the progression because I think it's so important and I hope that it's going to be encouraging for you to see if you will just keep working and working that you can progress. So I want to show you some of my older, what we just looked at from like 2019 all the way to what I did just this weekend. So you can see the progression. I am like a dog after a bone. When I want to figure something out, I just keep after it and keep after it and keep after it because that is literally the only way that you grow. You cannot get better unless you practice. So let's look at some of these. So this was 2019. This was also 2019, I think. I don't know why I didn't date this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this could have been 2020, but for some reason I didn't date. Here we have some tight 2020 sketches. Do we have anything older? earlier I mean I was doing things like this in 2020 still trying to figure it out then we have things like this now these are very very quick but I do find that I'm figuring things out then this was you know probably a, a one or two minute sketch and then this was a very tight, what year was this? This was probably at 2021. I knew I got tighter on this than I wanted, but you can still see progression. Now let me show you what I did just this weekend. And I have not done portrait or figure work in maybe a year. It's been a long, 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 long time. But I've got another Patreon session coming up. And so I thought, ooh, I want to practice. It's with Sarah Dyer and it's gonna be figures. So I thought, ooh, I really want to practice. So this was done this weekend. I can't remember what order I did these. I'm just gonna show them to you. Uh, I 
tried to do very, very quick. I was using gouache, acrylic, soft pastels, maybe some ink tints. I can't remember what all I picked up in this session of painting, but I did the ones that I'm about to show you all in one day. And then I'll show you what I did yesterday. You can see me still striving to be loose and to just get after it. I shared this one on Instagram and people absolutely loved it. You can see how loose I did the hand there. The other hand is right here, but I didn't paint it in. Oh, let me show this because the day before I did these loose paintings, this is how I was warming up and I could tell it was not how I wanted to sketch. It was way too tight. Do you see that? I mean, just, it's not, they're nice, but not how I want to express myself. That one was the last one I did, and it was getting a little looser. So the next day I thought, okay, let's try this again. Here we go. I knew I had another one in here. And you can see just by me practicing and really focusing on being loose and changing mediums. I went from color pencil to um, paint. And I do find that I can be much looser in paint. I was also using bad photos as reference, which I think is helpful. I think when you have pretty stuff, it doesn't work too well. Okay, so I did four that day very quickly. And this was the fourth, or I don't... I think this was the fourth one, but one of the four. And I love the looseness and the colors. These I'm all much happier with than what I was doing that day in the loose in the uh, tighter sketches. Then yesterday I wanted to keep up the momentum. I did this one. Feel like I started off a little tight. Her face is a little tighter than what I like, but I'm still quite happy with it. And I did one more. I think it's in this one. Yes, right here. I spent quite a while on this one. I love how it turned out. It's still not as loose and I wish I had worked her face a little more, but I loved putting in the background. There was a cool painting behind her, and uh, it was fun doing the cat. The little cat's face was sweet, or a little like, what are you looking at? So I'm gonna do some more today and see what happens. So I hope it was encouraging to see progression because that is what will happen with you too if you will just get after it and do it and do it and do it. And you will find, if you'll progress very quickly. And I encourage you to keep your old stuff because there's no way to have a visual of your progression and your growth. And you also may look at old stuff that you didn't like then and like it now. We don't see very well. Our eyes don't see well at all when we're looking at our own stuff. So just trust that process. Also, if you're interested and you really like my faces, I did a face, how to draw and paint the face video eons ago. I'll link it here in case you're interested in it. I've had so many people love that video and say they've never had such an easy lesson with drawing the face. I hope this video has made you want to jump immediately like run and go get a sketchbook and start working in it. I hope that it's something that gives you some ideas for things to sketch and I also hope it encourages you to see like the progression of time. It is literally the only way that we get better is practice and practice and enjoying the practicing. I've been doing this for so long now that I know that these sketchbooks are not going to be filled with perfect, pristine, great work. And that's how it should be. There should be a mixture of good stuff and really bad stuff in here. That's just the nature of playing and pushing yourself. So go get your sketchbook. And I also have tons of other videos that I've done from these sketches that you can go and reference to. So make sure to subscribe, like, all the things, and I will see you back here next week. Bye guys. I love y'all so much.